All right, let's um, kind of zoom in here uh, to Huskins Mountain Road. So this is a beautiful mountaintop property, not too far from either Banner or Elko Vallis. So first of all, let me give you the top-down view. A lot of, lot of pasture up here. It's, this is what you'll see from the property, this beautiful hillside right there. There's cattle on it. And then down below, there's this field, but this uh, belongs to the same property owner as the opposite field of the road, owned, owned by Story. And so the property we're looking at here is Hayes. And so there's this uh, already cleared pasture area. It's about two and a half, three acres up top. And so it is a beautiful high meadow. It looks out mostly this direction. And so you're going to be looking toward Grandfather Mountain, Sugar Mountain, Beach Mountain. On the other side, looking the other way, um, you're looking toward Boone. And so actually what we see up there is a quarry. So you may want to retain some view control because this side looks back toward the, the Boone uh, gravel quarry, which is a little bit of an eyesore. But you're up high and looking off, so that's a good thing. All right, so let's look at these lots then. One, two, the small triangle. This is where power comes up. There's a power pole here, but you could bring that back to there and put it underground. There used to be, uh, you can see right here, there's a little site where there was an RV parked right there. And then this is just a little rec recreational, little flat area. I think they had a little outhouse there as well. So, and there, and power is pulled to this pole. And then went over there to the RV. But if you wanted to, you could start down here and run it underground instead of pulling it to the pole. Because this is the best home site here. Or maybe, actually, what might be good is put the home site like over here. Clear these trees. Clear these trees. You would get the same view or better as you'll see on, from this field. Yet you'll be a little more private and away from this house, which is actually quite close. And you can plant some trees along in here, maybe try to block the view of that house, and then position the home over here where the RV was on the other side of this little landing. All right, just some ideas. Now let's talk about how to get there. Well, as you go up, you'll notice that there's a lot of wooded area. This is steep wooded area around here. This is actually a nice kind of a saddle all the way to this point. Uh, in fact, this would be a pretty good home site right here, to tell you the truth. Um, but after that, it gets really steep down this hill and over on this hill. So a lot of these acreages, a lot of this acreage is view control. All right. Let's talk about how to get into this place. So over here, let's see, way up here, here's Laurel Fork Road, the back way of Laurel Fork Road coming into uh, Baird's Creek Road near... Willow Valley Resort. And so on Willow Valley Resort, you can get on Willow Mountain Road. It's a gravel road. It winds the way up the mountain toward Huskins Mountain Road. And once you get up here, you'll find yourself in a little saddle right here with the land going down on either side. This is Willow Mountain Drive. And this road, there's the two, this continues on up the hill just to some houses. There's another little dirt road that continues here. It goes down toward Valley Cruces. But what you're going to do is right here on this uh, saddle is sort of take it in here and then straight. Notice you can access the, the back side of the property with this little sliver of land, but you don't really want, you don't really care about that. What you want to do is stay straight. You'll drive along this one lane gravel drive. On your left is a steep hill which is part of the property all the way around. You know, there'll be some no trespassing signs. When you get to this point, you'll see a sign on the right that says, you are no longer trespassers, you're now targets. But don't worry about that. So continue on around, go to the road goes uh, through this field, uh, between these two fields, which aren't the property. When you get to this corner, there's a fence, there's a gate. And so what you'll do is stop the car, open the gate, and if you want to, you can drive on to the property. 
or you can leave the car parked here, but, or, you, or you can drive up and park about here, and then you're able to access and see the best part of the property. Again, you got a close home right there, so don't bother these people. <laughs> and so, yeah, just go out here and, and take a look. If anybody were to ask you, hey, where's your realtor? Just say um, something like, well, we showed up a little early and thought we'd go ahead and have a look around. Sorry, we didn't mean to bother anybody. And then you can, then you can leave if you want to. But I wouldn't worry too much about it. It's uh, hopefully won't, nobody will nobody will harass you. All right, so I hope you love it. I really like this property. A lot of the 20 acres, like I said, is this wooded view control. But from where you are on this mountaintop, looking back toward uh, Grandfather and Beach, it really is a very beautiful view back that way. And, um, and if you were to clear here, uh, it's also a very lovely view back in the, um, back to the Northwest as well. Just, just, uh, I, I, I really like the property and, um, yeah, let's see where it goes.